Hi, my name is Susan Combs, and today we're going to talk about procedures for an insurance claim for roof repair. When it comes to any type of claim that you want to put in, the more details that you can give are going to be your, your best friend, so to speak. So when it comes to when damage has been done, especially to your roof, the first thing you're want to, going to want to do is take pictures. Um, so for example, if it's, it's hail damage, you know, hail's ice, ice can be preserved in your freezer. You want to go outside, hopefully you won't get injured, but you want to go outside and take a Ziploc bag and put as many, you know, hail you know, pieces in the bag so that you can put it in your freezer so that when somebody comes out to do the investigation, you can show proof that this is what hit your house. Um, you want to take pictures of your roof and then you're going to call your insurance company and give them as many details as possible. So if there's, you know, there was hail damage or there was, you know, tornado damage or things like that, you're going to say, okay, this is the date that this occurred. Um, you know, we now have a hole in our roof. We need to have a repaired ASAP. And then they're going to sign a claims investigator or an adjuster to come out there and assess the damage. Sometimes, depending upon how much damage is done, you might want to look at hiring a private investigator or a private you know, a public adjuster. So with the public adjuster, they're actually going to be your advocate and try to get, they're going to look at your policy, know exactly what's covered on your policy, and then they're going to kind of fight with the insurance company, so to speak, to get as much money back as possible. They do take a percentage of whatever you get back. So just keep that in mind. I mean, if you, if you, if you're not worried about that and you just want to have, you know, as much paid out as possible, then look to hire somebody like that. But if you don't want to deal with that and you want to get somebody out there as quick as possible, you're going to call the carrier and they're going to send somebody out. So like I said, the best thing to do is take it down as much details as possible, take as many pictures as possible. And if there's anything that you can pr preserve, such as you know the hail or things like that, or tree branches that have fallen, um, you, know, you want to remove them from your house after you take pictures, um, but you can preserve those and then the adjuster can take a look at that and they can assess the damage properly.